everybody, my name's Erica and welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're continuing watcher or subscriber. And of course, it's Friday, so you know what today is. It is Let's Play The Sims Day. So, now I'm bringing you, like I said in past videos uh, recently, that I am bringing you three Let's Plays to switch on and off from. So today, we're introducing the Rags to Riches Challenge here. Um, I was inspired to do this by James Turner, formerly known as The Sim Supply, just because I really loved his Rags to Riches. Now, if I remember right, there's a, like different ways to do Rags to Riches, and there's different rules for Rags to Riches. And so what I'm following, if I can bring it up here on the screen, So the challenge I'm doing, um, I found on just doing a Google search in, from Pure Sims and Rags to Riches, the Sims 4 challenge. We may find one that has a little bit more just like a cut dry of what the rules are, but the goal of the Rags to Riches challenge is about helping your Sim to escape homelessness and move on to a life of luxury. Um, and of course, this is different. Like, you know, you could do a Rags to Riches uh, eco style living. You could do a Rags to Riches get famous. I mean, there's different themes that you can do, but all, all in all, the main goal is to live the life of luxury. Um, how to play, so Rags to Riches, create a sim, get a, set a lifespan length to normal and create your sim with a lifespan, lifetime aspiration of fabulously wealthy. Purchase land, move your sim on the largest empty lot in a world of your choice, removing remaining cash. After purchasing the land, remove any remaining cash from the household funds by pressing control shift c and typing money zero then pressing enter don't and of course the most important rule don't let your sim die and then of course making money so there are many different ways in which your sim can earn money they can perform in public spaces for tips practice their painting skill at a local art gallery and sell their works or just get an old-fashioned job however we're playing this where the sim has to start making money in different odd jobs it's not going to be like an actual job. So how to win rags to riches is pretty much, you know, you become famously wealthy. Lifetime aspiration has several milestones, which should determine how successfully, successfully you have been completing the challenge. Milestones have two indicators of success, money earned and money in reserves. Um, so this is all about the money. So this one is just like, you know, the fabulously wealthy one and i think there is another one that i picked too here hold on i'm just gonna do i think this is the first one i popped up on which is from snooty sims um the sims 4 rags to riches challenge it's the ultimate guide so it kind of goes in a little bit more detail of what you're supposed to do um, so what is the Rags to Riches Challenge in The Sims 4? And it is also known as the acronym R2R. Um, pretty popular, including um, build a home, find a job, and start a family. So how to start the challenge? Um, start the Rags to Riches Challenge, which we've already said. Rules and guidelines. You cannot complete the main goals until you've completed their corresponding mandatory rules. Cheating and use of mods to ease the challenge are not allowed. You can only use cheat codes to move objects, take away your money, or reset your sim. You could choose your sim's age and lifespan. Move your sim to the most expensive lot and grid of the simoleons and um, possessions you have. Your spouse is not allowed to earn or make simoleons without completing the mandatory rules and main goals. You can only place things at your sim's lot after completing the mandatory rules for building a home. Sleep in public areas or a friend's home if you don't own a bed. You can eat and make dishes in public places or your friends, but you cannot take them home. So pretty much can't really do anything about that. So the main goals of the challenge are mandatory rules. So as I mentioned earlier, the Rise to Riches Challenge has many has main goals that you pri uh, your primary sim has to find fulfill to complete the challenge. These main challenge goals are mandatory. Build a home, so obviously you have to build a home. Um, have a fully furnished home with the fully furnished um, features. 
at least three bedrooms, at least two bathrooms, a kitchen and dining room, a family or a living room, a study with at least one computer in an outdoor garden with a pool. So you have to slowly kind of earn these up. But the mandatory steps for building a home is you need at least a level five of handiness skill and level three of logic. And you need to, and you have to pay a fine of a 500 for noise disturbances. I don't remember that or ever seeing James Turner have to do that. So mandatory steps for building a garden, finish all the mandatory steps for building a home, reach level seven. So if you need to build a garden, there's also this. Um, of course, having a family, you have the monetary steps for that one. Um, to have a career, um, choose any career, run a business, earn the entrepreneurial lifetime award, reach level 10 of chosen career branch of running a business, earn 100,000 with fully trained employees. Um, different aspirations and optional rules, but I'm going to kind of play it the way I've watched um, James Turner play it, which is pretty much you're trying to build a home, you're trying to build a successful business uh, kind of type thing. However... All right, so we are in the game and I cleared one of the houses that you can um, get in cottage living because what we're going to do is a uh, racks to riches cottage living. So pretty much we are going to start from scratch and hopefully, hopefully, but we do have to get our skill up for guarding level. At least I'm going to put as a rule and I'm going to write these down. I should have written them down. Number one rule in order to get like any farmland or anything, we need to be at least level five. So that means he doesn't have, our sim here does not have any of the levels completed or anything to start out because we are literally doing a rags to riches. So anyways, so we started on an empty lot. I did that and pretty much we have nothing. We have, well, I guess we do have some more name. Um, To be honest, I'm tempted to move him because I don't want to be on this lot per se. I kind of want to be in the one out in the country because if we're going to build on that lot, I don't want to be in the middle of town per se. So let's go ahead and actually move real quick before we start this. Because I didn't think that through. We're going to go ahead and move and we'll get to the other lot here shortly. Okay, so we're on the other lot. And this is where testing cheats true and money zero. So now we have zero simoleons and need to, okay, we get it about Black Spire Outpost. So I guess we just get started trying to figure out how to make money. And hopefully we don't like, you know, so I think we should probably go to the park and start kind of scrounging around for food or anything that we can sell per se. Now, also another rule is that we have to stay in our world. Like we can't, try to cheat and go to other worlds and like find like little bits and pieces to build or anything like that. So there's that. <laughs> All right. So, and we do, and there is a grill and there's a garbage here. So that's really, really good. So. All right. And this is the local fishing hole. So let's go ahead and fish. Oh, I forgot we can gather water. Interesting. Oh, they're all jumping, so maybe we can get a fish. Because fish do cost money. Or you can sell them, I should say. And I required the fishing skill. All right. Hopefully we get a bite. I mean, you're all jumping around here. Yay, we got a fish. So what, what fish did we get? Okay, so for... Oh, our, I guess I should introduce our sim. So this is Fernando Rico. I, again, explaining in the eco style living let's play we're doing, I just randomize the names and anything that kind of just jumps out at me. That's what I do. So Fernando caught a 4.2 kilogram trout with 20, worth $23. What else might be out here? So that's good. And we could also grill it if we need to. But there's like, there's a whole bunch of different fish and somehow they're like not biting. Like what the heck? Oh, there's one. Like there's several in here. All right, hook, line, and sinker. Fernando feels right at home by the water and with his fishing line cast. Is this a re revelation that he likes fishing? Sure. 
Looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for Fernando. Try fishing elsewhere until he has more skill or using more valuable bait. Okay. Oh, hey, there's little ducks. Ducks. I wish we could interact with the ducks. Hmm. That'd be so cute. I'm wondering if... Oh, because we have funds. So, okay. So we can sell this. We'll go ahead and sell that. So we got $23. Is there anything else we can scour? What's this? Hmm. There's butterflies. Let me ca catch butterflies. No. Dang. We catch butterflies too. Oh, there's berries in this tree. Can we? No. Dang. <laughs> this park sucks. Okay. Um. What else can I get? Oh, hey. There's little holes. But well, that has. Probably has a rabbit in it. Throw out rabbits. Over here. Oh, there's a big snail. Oh, that's the creature keeper. I'll talk to him. Okay, let's search. Maybe we'll find something in here. Like, oh, he's all the way up there. Oh, here he comes. Fernando found something. Maybe he should hide something in exchange for something else to find. Have to keep the Phoenix tradition going. Uh. One, two. Uncomfortable magic bean. For $10. I'll let we have to go to the bathroom. We need to go to a community lot. Oh, there's a log! Go search for... look for frogs. We're gonna have to go find a bathroom. Well, there's a bench we can go sleep on. What did we find? We found a striped leaf, leaf frog. Eh. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. All right. So we're gonna have him go to the bathroom since he's really gotta go. And we got $43. Wow. Um, hmm. Something around here. Can scounge for. No, oh, we can't rummage in there. Over here. Raspberries. We can uproot them. Go uproot the raspberries. Throw away, I guess. Hi. Getting hungry too. What would be the cheapest to grill? Grilled fruit. Tofu dogs. Hot dogs. Okay. Go grill hot dogs. They're the cheapest. Yes. I feel like this is going to be really hard. Do we have any bushes in here that they can go to the bathroom in too? Oh, let me go and say hi to us. Oh, you're flirty. Um, lady, I'm just trying to cook my hot dogs. I don't even know you from Adam. Stop flirting with me. What is this? Oh, this is Cecilia Kong. I think she's one of the Sims from... From the introduction, I, I don't know. 
I mean, it's fulfilling our social needs, so. But uh, I'm going to eat my hot dog now. Bye. Bye. Do. Do fly. Do. Please eat your hot dog. I'm sorry, I did not mean to call her a fly, but that just popped in my head every time I said shoe. <laughs> He's really enjoying that hot dog. Keep eating it. Just feels so bad because they're all gonna go to waste now. So sad. So sad. Maybe somebody else will enjoy him. Maybe you, sir. You coming up to talk to us? Okay, bye. Thank you. Because you're you're kind of creepy. I've seen some let's pl let's plays with cottage living with you, and you're kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. Okay, so what else can we do? Hmm. Gotta be on the lookout. On the lookout. Oh, we can fish over here. We'll fish over here. We've reached levels two on fishing. Cool. Oh yeah, it's guys night at Gentleman Sims can saunter up to the bar for discounted drinks. Did we get something? Yeah! What did we get? Hoping that's a good sign. Um Okay, so what did we discover? Fernando caught a 15.90 kilogram salmon worth 40 Oh yes! Because my goal is to get a tent. <laughs> so we have some shelter <laughs> before we build our house. Okay, let's hopefully we can get another one. Oh, we did! What did we get? Fernando caught a 0.18 kilogram goldfish worth $7. I mean, hey, more than we had before. Actually, how much does a tent cost? Um, so a tent costs a, oh my, they like a smaller tent, uh, there's I mean, it's cheaper than this one, but still, that's expensive. So I guess we have to get a thousand simoleons in order to get a tent. That's dumb. And you're starting to get uncomfortable because oh, it's getting cold. I, I'm wondering if we could sleep at the bar since it's warmer. Mm -mm. You're starting to get cold. You do have an out. Outdoor wear, so I'm not wearing it. Okay. I need to uh, get you changed outfit. Come on, change outfit. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm willing to fast forward to the next day. So. And we'll get cracking on more of our fishing and finding things to sell. Okay, so I totally forgot that since these are not technically beds, you have to, like, literally nap several different times. Great. Sorry, my dog was having a puppy dream if you heard yeps in the background. <laughs> All right, so what can we do? Probably should go upstairs and go to the bathroom real quick again. Definitely wash hands, maybe brush our teeth. Because I have a feeling that hygiene is going to go down pretty real quick. Um, and then 
We can make ourselves some food. Um. Hmm. This. That's a cute little fire. Huh. Cute. Anyways. Uh, distractions. Could we cook ourselves? Hmm. Have breakfast of eggs and toast because that's pretty cheap. Let's see. Get this done. Oh, we reached level two of skill of cooking. Hmm. Neat. Um, okay, that sim just turned into a cat. Who are you, Corey Mc McGleendon? Huh. Interesting. Once we're done with that, I think we should go back and try to fish some more. Where's that fish sign again? Hello? Where'd it go? Oh, it's over here. Fish some more in. So I'm going to change our game plan. I think the so walls are usually 60 bucks a piece. So what I might do is we need to get a cot so that we can actually sleep. It may be possibly a fire pit. So a cot would be an outdoor activity. So I, no, it's not in the outdoor. It is in the beds. So a sleeping cot is $255. And I believe the fire pit, fire ring, help keep us warm. Is four hundred fifty or four seventy five? Shoot. Okay. Um. Oh, and our social. Oh goodness. Maybe we go and talk to them over here. Friendly introduction. Are these all vampires? I'm so confused. I mean, I don't know why I think all of them are vampires, but. Enjoy the conversation. Oh, there you are. Ask if they're a mermaid. That's. Hi, how are you doing? Are you a mermaid? <laughs> That'd be the most awkward conversation ever. Like, uh, why do you say that? <laughs> Ask for help cleaning. Well, his day. Insult, yeah, that's insult. Ask about your day. Okay, that person. 30. Let's go fish. Oh, my game is being very laggy today. Usually it is not. Go fishing. Because we're somewhat satisfied now, so we should be doing pretty good. Yeah, get over here. Go fishing. Gotta make that bank. Hopefully we can snag some more of those $40 fish. Uh, another goldfish. The selling market with you. Oh, we caught a new fish. So Fernando caught a 0 0.61 kilogram perch worth seven dollars. Yay! Seven dollars we didn't have. Oh, we caught a trout. Cool. Oh, we reached level three. Fernando can now use bait to catch bigger, better fish. Fernando can examine the water near fishing spots to study fish movements and identify new fish. Fernando now can catch fish using fish traps. Maximum of two in ocean water. Ooh, cool. Let's see what more we get. What did we just... Fernando just caught a future cube by... 
No way! Because they're worth 300... Yeah! <laughs> they're worth $325! Think we might have enough for a cot now. Yes. Keep fishing. Keep fishing. What are you going to get this time? Oh, and we caught another trout. Cool. Okay, so I think we're going to stop and we're going to go back to our lot. All right, so we're back on our lot and I know we have enough for a cot. I just don't know how much else we would have money for. Let's go ahead and do a red cot. Um, I'm wondering, there is like an awning type thing that I'm wondering if we could get. I'm just hoping it's not too expensive. It might be. Yeah, I think they're too expensive because I was thinking of something like that and that's $1,900. Oot. Another umbrella. We do have this. I'm wondering if maybe we did something like this. We have like some coverage from rain, but not too much. And then do we have, can we buy a bush to go to the bathroom in? Yes, so we're back down to $53, but at least now we have a place to go to the bathroom and a place to sleep, even though it's like cold outside. But at least we have some place. However, I feel like he's going to get really dirty really quick from that bush. <laughs> Oh no. Maybe we should have gotten an outside shower instead. Hmm. Well, decisions were made. Okay, so what else? Now, we need to find fruit because I believe maybe we could plant something that is going to give us, like, money, like, later on. So I was thinking of, like, maybe a fruit tree or something. Um, I don't think apples are very expensive, and we could plant that. Now, I know I said that I wasn't going to buy anything until we get to that gardening skill, but I just realized how are we supposed to get to that gardening skill if we don't plant something. <laughs> so we do have to plant something, but I feel like we won't be able to get our fields until at least one the house is built, and we have to reach at least gardening level five. Okay, so let's go ahead... And see what we can buy to plant. So we do have berries. We could plant berries. Um, there's cherries. I don't know how. Hmm. We always plant. Maybe we could do. A blueberry and then if it has any app there's pomegranates way too expensive maybe we'll stick with blueberry and maybe a lemon okay. i'll stick with that now i think we need to go fishing some more and get a well maybe we could go plant Hmm, no, let's fish a little bit more, see what we get. So let's go examine water and see what we can get. We can get any more out of this. Water is full of activity and movement. Fernando spots a hungry tuna just waiting to be caught. Okay, so let's go ahead and fish then. Hopefully we catch that tuna because I'm pretty sure that's a high dollar fish. 
or else we can't have another goal. You know, I just realized we could probably be selling these fish to the grocer. <laughs> Things that you think of now. Oh, I got another box! What is it? Fernando just caught a daisy? Hey, we can keep that daisy and plant it then. Ooh. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I think we're just going to stop it there. If you liked what you saw and want to come uh, follow us more on this Sims journey, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you are notified. I post fun Sims content like this every Friday under Ginger Snaps Gaming 19 and fun bookish content under Ginger Books on Mondays. I hope everybody enjoyed this little intro to the Rags to Riches. I am actually kind of having fun with this, even though I feel like we're making money a little bit easier than I thought it would, but maybe it's going to get harder. I don't know. But I'm excited about this because I've just been find trying to find new ways to play Sims. So um, thank you so much. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I will see you in the next video.